widen that hero pool, even though they've got one of the smaller hero pools of the tournament, um, that you can't ban everything, and I'm liking them too. Alrighty, well, it feels like Entity might have the advantage here. They're playing very much to their strengths. Let's jump on in into our second series. Game at number one, it is Sunspan and Jenkins. I mean, I think the Visage is more up Entity's alley. I mean, this is one of their top heroes. They flex it between mid and their off lane, and with, uh, of course, Saber Light, they can flex it to carry as well if they wanted to, so they're just going with comfort, and it's a hero that does function pr very well against Huskar for about the same reason the Necro does. Uh, you have the Visage Birds hitting very quickly. It's in, so I suppose, like, Amar is the true carry, and this is something that OG does. And Seb? Yeah, getting some. chased a bit here. Already with that Arctic Burn stack, Amar has to be forced out as well as he works on uh, the armlet, obviously. And then from Entity's side, we talked about how they picked some crazy stuff throughout the group stage. The fact that obviously Saber Light is the one subbing for them as the position one player, uh, considering that he is off lane for his actual team, TSM. But a nice Shackle Shot is going to set up some right clicks from Amar. But again, Kataomi is ready for the Arctic Burn. That percentage based damage is pretty damn strong. As Seb might actually go to the grave here, pops that Fairy Fire. Close break, not quite enough, so he's going to get out with just a little HP. But. Back to the very boring point I was going over, Sir Jenkins. <laughs> Which was? I don't remember. And I was just talking about how they pick some crazy stuff, but he's sure he can get kited, but he kind of likes to play long fights as well, like this Fishman. Yeah, he's getting very low. That was the toss back into the magic oh, missile, so first blood the way of OG. And Saberlight might be going down here as well. Nope, it'll be Seb instead. And... Oh, they got they got Amar as well on the wow. group wave. You're right. Okay. And remember, at your face, just the immediate grin. I, think. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I mean, a pub's in competitive. Or I think also he's an insanely competitive guy. Oh, so. Got a toss back into the magic missile again, but the mud golem with Fishman applying some pressure to Yuragi. So Toby actually pops the fairy fire himself to stay alive here. As Taiga just beating the crap out of him with that Christmas tree. Just harassments all around. Although the Mud Golem is blocking Taiga. This is really nice micro coming from Entity. 2% <laughs> yeah, over quite a few yeah, games. Maybe That's... not ready for that change quite yet. Well, as you can see, the jungling BZM for the Coddle. And we have that's the one lane we haven't really talked about is Coddle versus Bad because both heroes are just going to uh, kill these waves, especially from BZM's side. Half jungle, half mid. Yeah. Very, very strong hero right now. Solo Assumption doing a lot of damage to Taiga in this top lane as the pressure continues from Fishman. Uh, this this top lane is an interesting one because, like, yeah, clearly OG is, you know, they're they're doing the tossbacks into Venge Stun, into, into Wave of Terror. It's a lot of nukes. Like, it looks pretty good. Oh, Storm is actually going for it. Yeah, pops that Firefly. That's the Arcane in set. He's just going to get lassoed on the high ground with that four sticky Napalm stack. Should be an easy kill for Storm Stormer. Damn, that smells good. So first kill for him. Yes, right now between the mid laners, not really that close because of the jungle discrepancy. Body blocks. Yuragi, again, getting gone up by these mud golems. Seem to be finding those consistently in the jungle. Again, the body blocks. Taiga can't even get to the other side now, but BZM coming to help with the Illuminate. A lot of damage done to Toby, who have the high tail away as Taiga trying to position again, but he's out of spells. So all he can do is right click at this point. Illuminate, not channeled fully, but it's going to be enough to take out Toby in the end. Oh, he's As got the Taiga, rocks. Yep, the rocks coming out from the little shard golems. Avalanche to follow. And these little babies will not be enough to spell the doom for Taiga. So those, nice those turnaround drops. here from OG this time. From the recipe of the armlet. And that's the neutral item he would like to have, of course. As Taiga showing himself now with that invis room, he's going to get lassoed, and there's not really much support coming the way of OG. So that's a freebie for Entity. Did force out Fishman's TP, though. He'll that, likely just go back into the jungle. That Shen TP, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big one. He did have a creep with him, so. He's like, oh, don't mind if I go jungle now. I'm stuck mid. I'll go, go jungle. Why not? The lasso. Well, Yuragi is venge. This is a hard counter to the lasso with the swap. Yeah, well, we're going to see the lasso come out. Set up by the own flame break there on Storm Stormer's side. Avalanche not going to keep Taiga breathing for the moment. So Entity get a nice pick off there. As BZM, again, just continuing to farm away. He has 
his boots of travel, obviously. He's had that for quite a while. A spirit vessel done already with two charges. Okay, I, I, wanna, I wanna talk about something here. Okay. And this is up your alley, okay? Because this is an Aghanim 7. Oh, yeah. Yes, okay. That's my boy. Here's my issue. Turning, tying on the high ground, breaking the smoke. It might cost him his life. Gets up in that nice avalanche with the Gale Force to follow. But the lasso, that's going to find Yoragi's first life. And he's completely surrounded. So even his illusion will die. And that means OG might have to give this up as Amar kind of stuck inside his own triangle. BKB popped by Stormstormer. Life break to the breach for Amar. He's going to pop a BKB of his own, which means they can't really kill him at the moment. A nice curse doing a lot of damage to Seb. As Amar focusing purely on the Bristleback, staying alive. Amar going to see the save there onto the Bristleback, although taking a lot of Burning Spear damage. It looks like Amar is just resigned to his death. But Saber Light does die to the ridiculous amount of Burning Spears that were applied to him. And... Is this enough to go for Roche? I mean, they have an entire zoo with Visage here. I feel like with the zoo, they can't, like, other, if, if this was any other draft, you'd be like, oh, no, the bristle died, Entity can't go for right. but every one of their heroes can. Oh, oh Rocky. Rocky, he's alive again. Gets off the magic missile, illuminate to come. Fishman gets extremely low. And you can see the Roche starting to get low itself, and Yoragi really doesn't care about dying this first time. We've seen this story before. 17 seconds on the Huskar line. Yoragi's first life down again. A lot of damage being applied to the Wyvern. gets blown up, so Kaka only had to find a long Stormstormer's fish. trying to finish it, dude. the pit. Stormstormer doesn't have that much damage to work with. Getting quite low himself. Just getting blown oh, up. But the Aegis is taken by BZM, and that is unfortunate for OG. Or for Entity, I should say, Very as fortunate OG. For OG. My goodness, in their favor. And now, now OG needs to make the choice. Like, do they, do they want to... Oh, oh, we have the lasso initiation. Focusing on Yoragi first. The Lotus Orb applied. Going to bounce back a couple things here. Gets off another swap. And there's the illusion. So that's the first life for Yoragi. But again, swap out to safety's arms this time. And Amar focusing on Bristle again. Not doing that much damage right now. The bar getting extremely low. There's the Lotus Orb. He doesn't have enough lifesteal to work with at the moment. The inner fire just not providing quite enough HP regen. And now Seth might get punished here. Vintage Familiars, Curse. And BZM would be an enormous kill as Saber Life positioning himself very nicely to get off these goos and will sprays. Toby finishing him off with that soul assumption. Gale Force not really going to help too much here is another fight going the way of Entity. Seb and the illusion of Yoragi last to remain. Radiant's and uh, Yoragi. He's actually going to come back. That is unfortunate timing. Really well played from Anthony, <laughs> knowing that he would respawn. Oh, Die again. And the illusion will likely follow suit. That take now. But there is buyback available for the Venge. Tier 3 towers down. No force. Seb looking for the power shot. There's the buyback coming out. Taiga gets off the nice top back onto Saberlight. Toss that BKB instantly. Focusing on the Taiga to start this out as he is dead right off the bat. Left the buyback as well as Yoraki. Looking for his 8th next in the game. Amar falls as well. Just too much physical damage from this Bristleback. And a nice first that might just That's end. It. First uh, so we see first blood Amar. Okay. Ends up getting him in the end. And Taiga will be the trade on the other side of the map, so it's a one for one. Although Fishman getting chased by Yuragi, getting that extra movement speed, gets off the Aphotic Shield. It looks like it'll just delay the inevitable. Only yet, we can see OG here in numbers. And there he goes. He's actually going to use the Winter's Curse. He might be able to get a kill onto Taiga. In fact, he does. Nicely done from Kato Omi. He's going to force out the coil, though. But here comes the reinforcements from Entity. Rupture on the Stormstorm. He's going to get the lasso onto the puck. Gets a Phonic Shield as well. They're doing massive damage. So BZM ends up dropping the Stormstormer. And a nice save onto him as well. As Yuragi will die in addition. So three for nothing as Entity clean up this fight really nicely. The Doom applied to Seb. He'll be able to walk away, but still, really nice fight from Entity overall, as Amar getting gone on the top lane, it's going to be a solo kill potentially for Toby, with the nice use of the familiars, solo assumption to follow, a couple more right clicks will do, he has the Viper Strike on the Toby, but there's the Stormstormer, they have the Blink Dagger on Captain Omi right now, but there's the Blink onto Stormstormer, and the Bloodseeker is just dead, big pick off for Entity, Taiga able to get out the Demonic Purge, but he's getting chased relentlessly from Stormstormer and company, and Seb just he should be dead can't too. much about it at all. He's carrying a briefcase, it's business day for him, but back to the grave, three dead Entity. Now, do they have a Roche lineup? Radiance top Not as much as last game, that's for sure. Vis Visage Abba are decent. Uh, I don't know if they're gonna... Oh, oh Timberlake, Timberlake, actually. BZM in a bit of a pickle right now. 
And he's just going to get dropped as well. So Entity getting everything out of this and that. And a couple wards are going to go into the triangle as BZM ready to go. Waiting Rift to start things out. And Fishman with the Nether Toxin can't even get off his ult. So instant death for him as OG looks to pursue even further. Saberlight gets destroyed by the Elder Titan ult through the BKB. And that is two quick pickoffs for OG. Obviously, Oh, we have the last initiation, but the instant rupture and the Stormstorm are killing himself through that BKB, but looks like they're focusing on Amar. He's able to get out thanks to the disruptions, but still doomed. So he might tick out in the end, but the Stormstorm initiation completely punished from OG. They find him pretty much instantly. As Yoragi kind of put to a stop thanks to the Winter's Curse, but now we have a coil onto the high ground. Blood right to follow. Toby looking to not break himself out of that coil. He's going to get saved for the time being by Kata only, but there's so much magic damage to follow it up with. It's surely he's going to be dead, but the buyback comes out from Saberlight. And now, you see the Echo Stomp from Seb onto two heroes as Toby's stuck inside the blood right. He's silenced from the waning rift, but has that soul assumption to follow. The rest of OG now on the run because that's two buybacks coming out from Entity. And Seb will be punished, but again, that's just two supports dead. Okay. Oh, he's going to get Lasso to start things out. He's kind of separated a bit here. Saberlight comes in as well, looking to get the Doom that's off. That's not And BZM, he has to be careful because there is still... Actually getting some backup from his team. Looks like they're going to focus on Fishman instead. He does get off the ult this time despite the break. No silence to follow as Toby gonna get Viper struck as Amar focusing on the familiars for now, but it's a one for one in favor of Entity as the rest of OG now need to retreat. Oh, a BZM! He's gonna get the phase shift off, blink up in just a moment, but will he be able to get out? Finds a little bit of distance as Storm nice. Stormer. Flame break not gonna connect. As the rest of OG collapsing a bit, but they do get BZM in the end. That is an enormous kill for Entity. And Amar kind of forced to just stand his ground again, but the Soul Assumption, nice dodge with the Manta Stun, that's exactly why he picked it up. <laughs> as the Cold Embrace is going to save Toby, as the Familiar is keeping Amar in place at the moment with the buyback from BZM. And they do get the Visage, but the buyback feels like maybe not so worth it now. Unless they can get the ward spot on the cliff, Amar has the Lincoln's applied to him. As Saberlight, he's going to get the waiting rip to start. As a rupture, but on Saberlight, he's kind of stuck all by himself in this area. As Storm Stormer gets the first lasso off onto Yoragi, but no damage follow up whatsoever. Seb taking a solo touch on the sidelines. The Mark the BKB, but Saberlight's just dead. That was the original initiation from the puck, and he's dead for two full minutes, no buyback. Amar's gonna be the trade. Does have buyback for him, but the fact that they've taken out the support Wyvern already as Toby turns into stone. I'm gonna put this initiation to a stop. As Seb. <laughs> All right, that's a really late game high five. I like that. Toby. Oh, the bash actually connects from Yoragi. He has a basher now. And so Toby trying to walk back to base. Probably not going to happen. The storm storm getting chased every time by BZM. Has that BKB activated. Looks like he's going to be fine, but Toby not so much. So it ends up being a three for two. Really? Yeah, which led to the entire splitness of that fight. It was also weird. Yeah, Amar gets spotted out here, trying to de-ward this very valuable ward spot here. BZM jumps in. Waning ripped into phase shift. He'll blink onto the cliff as Amar's attack speed is absurd right now. Is this actually be enough to take out Toby? I thought he was perfectly fine, but BZM with the finishing move. Pop his Lincolns, looking for the Doom, but the Viper Strike applied to Sable. He can't get off any attacks at all, and he will die shortly after here. But a curse comes out to try to counteract it. Double buyback from Entity, including the Doom with his ultimate still available. But now they have to pop that Lincolns again on the side of BZM. Gets off the Illusory Orb onto the other side of the trees. And again, the stun on Sabre, that is a dieback onto the Doom as OG winning this fight handily. Another buyback onto the Abaddon as Entity has yet to find a kill in this engagement. Looks like BZM's gonna be able to get out and Roche, we can see, is up in 20. He's back and he doesn't have BKB up. He's, he doesn't even get the Doom off in that fight. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just another one of these fights where one of the cores gets caught out. I think Toby had stone form, but I thought he was definitely fine. I thought he was fine. It looked like he was definitely fine. Up, Storm Stormer scouted out. Illusory Orb, and no. Now for the rest of OG, going high ground with 60 seconds for two heroes on Entity, no buyback. And they could easily get a lane of Rax, maybe two, and then go Roche afterwards as Seb. Is that an Aghanim Scepter for him? 
Is that yes, it is. Oh, that is okay. eggs. So there he's a core now. All right, as applying some pressure to the tier three tower. Loji looking to potentially finish this game, and obviously with that shard on Amar, it allows them to just melt through these buildings. And Stormstormer, now they're gonna have to try to defend. The tier fours are basically dead now, and the bar pops to be PV, focusing on the ancient as well. And Stormstormer just bashed to a high degree. He just dead. He does the daytime factor. Oh, mid. Yeah, coil. But there's the old pop by the Night Stalker. Trying to get that silence on instant go sector from BZM, but there's the curse onto Alchemist just to try to delay things. You can see Amar keeping everybody at bay here, taking some right clicks from Stormstormer. A couple more will do it. He's gonna arm Latongo and survive though, as Yuragi with the BKB focusing on Kataomi. Gonna get these two supports relatively easy along with Night Stalker. So three for nothing as OG looks to take this fight in space. That's the Aegis down as well. He's dead twice. Absolutely. Toby's here though with his familiars. But if he's not careful, it's gonna, everybody's going to go down on the top side of the Entity. That's going to be the fourth down. Toby left to his own devices and will likely get chased down. All this impetus damage is a double kill from BZM. Tricked by that one. That was... I've seen Hogs from Fishman. He's just going to get jumped on by Yuragi, who now has that Blink Dagger, so... Oh, geez. Starting to run away with this bit. Obviously, a 7K, 7K lead looks like a lot, but it is an Alchemist, of course. So it's an Alchemist. Uh, especially if you're going to Storm Stormers all alone. And the Corrosive Haze means that there's no shenanigans coming out of that meld. Oh, and Mars Big pickoff for OG as Yuragi just picking them apart all over the map. And the Crippling Fear, but he's going to break the coil and just die to the Illusory Orb. And a little bit late on the Winter's Curse, and this is another punish from OG. Three dead, and barely any damage done to OG's side. Concoction coming for Fishman. Oh, does he get the bounty? Down. He gets the bounty too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, Fishman. Fishman. We see you. Oh, yeah. There's good counters to TA, uh, who might be Mar. Awesome. Might be have Check vision. Here. Looking for the opening. There's the coil. Blink by Mar into the bash, but the counter hook shot comes in. But look at this damage. Concoction onto two heroes, and again, OG getting away with murder with no reciprocation whatsoever from Entity's side. Five to thirteen. Again, that doesn't really tell any of the story. Because ever since uh, that fight with the Aegis, with Entity had the Aegis, they, he was four and 10 MVP apparently in that game number two. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> He's gonna go kick production's ass. Entity, they're smoked up. They absolutely need to win this fight. Yeah. And try to force it out here. Amar, he's gonna break it. Saber light with the initiation, crippling fear, but gonna try to take down the Phoenix to start. He has a ghost center himself. Just the itemization coming out from OG has been masterful. And there's the Winter's Curse turning into a kill on the BZM. Double kill, okay. Nice pickoff here for Entity. As they're gonna try to continue on now. Focuses on Yuragi has that BKB though with the concoction to follow. Fishman getting saved on the outskirts of this fight. And Yuragi gets to be careful. The BKB is now ending. Don't have enough damage to finish him off quite yet because Amar is the one that jumps in. He's going to get decimated. So a three for two as the Visage is fallen. And that's the buyback from the Phoenix on OG's side. So really good fight from Entity and Very shortly. Neither team has a, has a ward on the high ground. Entity do have vision there thanks to the traps. There's a concoction coming on, but he can't use it on Toby because he's stone. And that doesn't work against stone, apparently. Fishman gets off the cogs, and there's a jump in from Stormstormer. Trying to take out Amar. He's already at half HP. He's the buyback onto the Wyvern already comes to fruition. But look at the damage coming from Seth with these emphasis is on the side. Double kill for him. He's just cleaning through everybody. And now BZM with a double kill for himself as well. As four are dead, that's a dieback onto the Wyvern. And OG only lose one, and it's Amar. And set pretty much out of mana, but the concoction is coming as Toby will go down again. Triple kill, and that interacts in favor of OG now. Was that a BM BKB? It is might that? be. That's very possible. He's going to take a metal strike. Yuragi getting quite low. Arctic burn to follow, but there. Getting healed up a bit with the instant silence from Saberlight, who jumps over the crippling fear. The nullifier, Ooh, nullifier, it looks like. So down goes the Phoenix, along with the Aegis. And nice attempt at save at Saberlight. He's going to take so much damage from Seth once he's able to actually click on him. Stormstormer with the BKB. Trying to take out the Alchemist. He's going to get him. Dead. BKB. 
along with that golden brace as we have a buyback on the alchemist so it looks like og want to try to finish this as storm stormer will be dead with no buyback so three done and seven i wonder how much damage he's done this game with these impetuses because they are absolutely shredding entity toby in the stone form but it's gonna get saved by Tata Omi as well, but you can see Impetus with the waning rift, they can just burst right through it. So OG, look like they're gonna go on to face PSG LGD in this second series in the playoffs. GG's are called. Nicely played from OG.